At some point, you're coming off your bike. It's gonna happen, not negotiable, done deal. And you know what? Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe you need to get used to that idea, just accept it and admit it's gonna happen. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why you need to do that and why that'll actually help you crash less. Ever find yourself running wide in a corner and then back off because you just shat yourself? Yeah, what happened? Did that help? No, it didn't. The bike stood up, you ran wider, you found yourself in a world of hurt. I've done it, I think everybody's done it. The bike could have made the corner. You could have made the corner. That's called a survival reaction. They're what happens when fear takes over or you're just plain run out of talent. I'm gonna tell you some of them and I'm gonna tell you what to do to get over them. In no particular order, here are the big ones. One, rolling off the throttle. Like I said, happens mid corner. Also happens when you're running the sand. You bump along, you see a patch of sand, back off, front end drives down, everything's wrong, you're in a world of hurt. Then that leads on to other ones. Number two is the death group. Things get hectic, things start happening that you probably really don't want happening. So what do you do? You start hanging onto the bars for grim life. It's a natural thing to do. But what you're doing is, is you're becoming rigid and you're taking away the bike's ability to self-correct. And it will self-correct a lot of the time if you just let it do its thing. But what's worse is you've taken away your throttle control. You need to loosen up and let the bike do its thing. Number three, target fixation. You're riding along, you identify something on the road that you don't want to run over, well done. And you run over it. That's because you've aligned your body and your head towards it. You're focusing on it and you've just run over it. You need to learn to not do that. Number four is freezing. Freezing something that we'll do when we just run out of knowledge. You've got a bunch of options open to you. You always do. You just need to work out which one to take and you need to make that decision really fast and start doing it straight away without thinking about it. If you don't have a clear idea on what to do in each situation, you're playing it by ear and you're probably gonna take a second to decide what to do. And that second, it can be too long. Number five is braking. When things go wrong and we've decided that we're gonna spud in, we're gonna try and make that experience as enjoyable as we can. So one way we do that is to try to make it happen as slow as we can. So we brake and we brake hard. Sometimes it is the right thing to do. Sometimes it's not. You'll make sure you're doing the right one at the right time. Just grabbing a big fat old handful of brake because of a survival reaction is really the right thing to do. So they're the main ones. There are more, but I'm just covering those today because they're what I think are the big ones. So what can we do about this? Time on the bike. This alone won't fix it, but it'll do a lot to help. Getting comfortable will help. Just getting out there will help. But just riding won't fix it. A lot of the time, older riders just have these really bad habits that are really reinforced. Don't be that guy. Learn. Ask other riders. Read up. Watch videos. Watch my videos. The information is out there. You just need to go look for it. And you don't know what you don't know. Have a think about that. We can all learn more. And this is a hard one for some people. Own your crashes. If you messed up and you crash, own it. If you made a mistake, own it. If you just didn't know what to do and you froze up, own it. Admit it to yourself. Take photos. No one's gonna think you're an idiot for falling off. We all fall off. And if people think you're an idiot for falling off, frankly, they're the idiots. And who cares what idiots think? Just understand and be okay with the fact that you're gonna fall off. If scratching up your bike is the worst possible thing in the world that could happen to you, you're gonna have a bad time. Look, it's gonna happen. It's gonna get dinged up. It's gonna get worn. A bike isn't a magical being that brings you happiness. Riding is what makes you happy, not the bike. Unless you got some sort of weird fetish thing going on. And if that's you, yeah, do your thing. That's cool, I'm not judging. And lastly, gear. Look, I don't care if you look like the love child of all six Power Rangers after a crazy coke-filled weekend of free love and happiness in the 80s, or if you're riding around on a BMW with ready to race written across your chest. And open face helmets, nobody wants to see your face. You ugly, nobody. Money spent on gear is never money wasted. Trust me on this. The few dollars you save today, a couple of years, you won't care. So there's survival reactions and what you can do about them. I didn't cover them all, there's more to it and there's more information out there. Another great place to get info is something called a twist of the wrist one and two, mostly two. It's by a guy called Keith Code, links below. Now go watch my other videos. And make sure you wave when you see another bike. I might make another video about that.
Yeah, the first time I had a big off on the road, I remember sliding along on my face thinking, this actually isn't that bad. It really wasn't. Until the last sort of 10K an hour, that was pretty shit. Yeah, it's part of the deal, isn't it?